Hey Capricorns, this is your monthly for January Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate for everyone. But if you guys are interested in a personal, that information is down below the video. Okay, I'm going to do a Celtic cross, and I'm going to lay the cards face down. That way, um, you know, when I see them, you will uh, know about them as well. Okay, we'll, we'll explore them at the same time. All right, guys, here we go. my Capricorns. Let's see what's going on for you guys and how you see yourself. I, I think um, you're trying to basically think before you speak. You, little, you need a little more about little can't even talk. As I say you are trying to think before you speak. Okay let's try this again. You need to know a little more information about something before you actually open up your mouth and engage okay <laughs> all right so let's see what um, the energy that's around you yeah you're, you're kind of stuck um, you're feeling like I said kind of hung up on something because it's like um, you don't have all the information yet um, to proceed towards something or someone. Piscean energy here. Or there's someone that is doing this to you. Okay, let's see what your challenge is. You're not sure if you want to um, start over with somebody, to begin something, to offer something even, um, or somebody's not sure if they want to offer to you. But I feel like this is more so you um, not sure on whether you know, this is going to be something that's beneficial to you. Whatever this new start is. Okay? You're not sure about it. Hmm. Let's see why you're here. Oh, yeah. Somebody from your past. There's somebody from your past here. That, um, that is significant relating to this new start you're not sure about them you're not sure about them let's see what happened in the past and see why hmm. we have the hermit in the past here Virgo energy it may be a Virgo that um, it's reading like a story, really, um, that has maybe offered to get back together, maybe has offered to take you out on a date. This was somebody that was vacant from your life because they're, they're showing up as the hermit. And the hermit isolates themselves, okay? And, um, but once they get, once they gain the knowledge that they're seeking, they come out and they look for their partner, basically. And I feel like somebody came in search of you. Okay. And they came with an offer because you guys share, um, a history here. You guys are kindred spirits, soulmates, I feel. And so they came to you with this offer. Oh, they came to you with this offer. And you have to really, you know, give this some thought because you're really not sure, especially, you know, if things ended not so good in the past. So right now you're like in this, this point of stasis where you're like, I don't know, I got to think about this. You know, I, I really need to evaluate what's really going on here. Okay. And let's see what the best possible outcome is. Is that you will give this some thought. You will think this out logically. Um, because, you know, possibly before you were all 
hung up on you know this soulmate relationship and you let your feelings take over so now it's like you know I need to be more level-headed about this I need to figure out why this person is actually coming back what is it that they really want are they genuine you know in the near future we have the will of fortune you guys going into a, a, another cycle I do feel like whoever this is this is probably something that was meant to be it's Jupiter this is Jupiter Jupiter is your husband okay You guys are probably going to end up going into another cycle together because this is the hermit is number nine this is in the past little fortune is number ten this is your karma so if um if this person has done a, a lot of evaluating and has changed whatever it was that they needed to change and is coming back this is possibly your life partner okay let's see what's in your outside influences yeah this is a this is a this is an undeniable connection Capricorns okay undeniable we have Virgo energy as well not Virgo but um, Gemini Gemini Virgo Scorpio Pisces Somebody's in love with you. Very much in love with you. It's not just sexual. Very much in love with you. Mm. It's all around you. <sighs> this is your hopes and fears. Your hope is that this is the one. Capricorn, I believe this is the one. Aquarius energy. Hmm. That's what you're thinking about. That's what you're thinking about. Look at this. This is, oh my gosh. This is in your outcome. <laughs> you are going to be so happy. You guys are going to be so, so happy. And I'm feeling tingly all over my body. You guys are going to be so happy. That's, that's all I can say. Um, I feel like you will make the right choice for you. I really do. This is Leo energy as well. Um, I feel like this, this sun is coming as a direct result of this outside influence here. Because this is the out, this is the out, well, this camera messes me up, guys. This is the outcome. This is the outside influence. Need I say more? All right. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six major arcana cards in within ten cards. That's a lot of exterior energy that is um, propelling you guys, um, pulling you to do. to do what's right for you. And I truly feel like what's right for you, this is your challenge. It's to accept this new start. This is something that's gonna bring you true happiness. Possibly for the duration of your life. Of course, you're gonna have ups and downs. Everybody does, okay? But for the most part, this is good. This is, this is very good, Capricorns, okay? So I will be speaking with you guys soon, and um, you guys have a good one.